Hello and welcome to part 19 in this look back at Resident Evil Zero. Um, as you can tell by the music, we're now in a save room currently. Um, this is the file to read and we'll be moving on uh, to the next couple of rooms. Um, I had trouble getting uh, to Billy to read the memo. Uh, so I do sort of move around a couple of times. It was very frustrating actually. Um, but we do eventually get it. And I think it's the next attempt. Oh no, it just kept saying about that blood stain thing, and it was really getting on my nerves. There we go. And that was saying about battery acid. Now I've actually, uh, battery fluid, sorry. I've made a bit of a mistake in the in the last part, it was the room before the Hunters, uh, in part 18 I think it was, well yeah because it's part 19, um, the room before the Hunters is like a red room, I think it was quite a few zombies in there, and there was actually a, a ladder, um, and if you've got the ladder there's a file and there's a red chemical, um, you need that along with the blue chemical to make some, I think it's battery acid, um, so, or sulfuric acid actually, um, so if you're using this as a walkthrough, um, I would go back, not the do back to where uh, the opposite door, um, and it's not that, not the it's, like, it's foggy room. It's the room before that, and um, I probably will put it in part 18 because I haven't quite uploaded it yet. Um, so um, I've got some news about Resident Evil 6. It's actually quite good news actually. Um, they're going to be releasing a demo uh, for everyone, uh, so not just for people who own Dragon's Dogma. Um, a demo for PlayStation users who own Dragon's Dogma is out tomorrow, um, I believe, um, which would be the fifth of September. No, is it? Yeah, it would have been the fifth. Yeah, for September. So I'm, I, my my date of the ninth was a good guess, but it wasn't close enough. Um, but for the demo for everybody, it's out on the 18th of September for American PlayStation 3 users. Um, at, well, like North American territories, I believe. And um, like Canada as well. Um, but I think uh, it'll be the 19th for European PlayStation 3 owners. Um, but Xbox, I imagine it'll be because they all that all their stuff's the same. Uh, it's always on a Tuesday. Um, so I love how I say their stuff. I actually do own an Xbox myself. Um, so, well, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's all then. Um, it's a little bit different apparently to the Dragon's Dogma demo. Um, but there's still going to be three campaigns you can play. Um, like uh, levels from that, I think. Uh, it's going to be like Leon, Jake, I think it is, and Chris. So it'd be interesting to see, really, because I mean, what I did say yesterday was. Uh, well, I think it was yesterday, more well, apart from yesterday. I think it's part last part or the part before that. Um, I said something along the lines of that I think with Resident Evil 5. I think a lot of disappointment come because you were looking at it as a um, survival horror game and not an action game, but still, um, you've known Resident Evil as a thing. So I was thinking about it because actually I think it was a bit, a little bit unfair to say that really. But I think with it, if I think if you look at is it an action game, is it still a good game? Because I know Resident Evil Five is a bit, it's not everybody's cup of tea. I, I can see the problems with it. It, it did take things a bit too far with the you know them zombie things and guns but then thinking about that they actually can use knives and that so it would make sense if they could use guns thinking about it it's really hard to, quite hard to talk about that so I think I'm going to move on to be honest because I don't want to say something stupid or put my foot in it oh uh, this bit coming up now is very can be a little bit annoying Don't want to spoil it, but uh, the minute I entered this room, I knew what it was. One claw bills back.
Yeah, no, I wanted three miles off. Oh no. Um, I think Billy does have. Yeah, he's got two shots left, so hopefully, do some serious damage to him. But absolutely, the minute I walked in this room, I thought, oh no. Because like, yesterday, I couldn't remember. I thought you only fought him the once, but I remembered that you had to fight him again. Um, but he's so. He's a lot more deadlier in this one compared to the other one. I think it's really because we had loads of magnum ammo in the last fight, whereas I'm only relying on the shotgun. But I actually do f did find out if you shoot, aim the gun, get close and aim the gun up, it does a lot more damage than just hitting him anywhere. Um, I think it's something to do with his exposed spine, to be honest. They actually call this thing a failure, and it's still bloody lethal. That would kill most people, so I don't really see that as a failure. But you know, Wesker's like he's a bit up himself. Oh, actually, no, you wouldn't know. You'd only know that if you played um, Umbrella Chronicles, because he calls it a failure in there. Um, so you would not know that playing it on this game. And now he's coming up to another part where Billy and Rebecca have to split up again for a short while. It's really annoying because you probably could, if that, you could get that ladder to come down uh, while that fight was occurring, then you wouldn't need to fight him. But unfortunately, you have to fight him. But I believe that's the last time we ever see him uh, again. So that's good. Just trying to think what we need in here. Oh no, it's not this bit. No, I'm thinking. Uh, you get the item uh, to get. Uh, I was thinking that there's a console that sends something that only Rebecca can fit in, but that's you need that motherboard we just picked up uh, is not in the computer. Isn't in. Well, I think it's more of a terminal, but same sort of thing. Uh, that's not in this room. Uh, it's in a room a little bit further back. So for some reason I thought it was in this room, but it's not. I, just, I actually just thought about it, obviously I can't change it now, but I just thought that um, we could have left Billy in here actually because he needs to go this way in a minute anyway. But I didn't think about it at the time. I do believe it's in here. Oh, I know it's the next room, right? I'm sometimes crossing that bridge, a giant frog can jump out. Um, I've only ever seen him jump out once, but it, it does occur. And now I'm actually going to go back and get... Yeah, I just seen that ladder and I thought, well, does that go somewhere? Uh, but now I'm going to go back and get the red chemical we need. Um, I just I actually forgot we were going we we're going to do this because it just dawned on me at, at the time. But I forgot it because I was trying to think uh, where... It, I was thinking of not... What it was about, I was just thinking about something. I can't remember what it was now at the time. And I thought, we haven't gone and got the red chemical. Um, so I'm going to go and get that... Now it's not too far as I would have cut it out, um, but I thought if people are sort of using this as a walkthrough, actually I wouldn't need to correct it then really, actually looking at that, thinking about it, I wouldn't need to put it, I, I might just put it in there uh, in part 7, 18, um, but I didn't really need to say about it till now really, but never mind. I'm just trying to, ah oh, there's the ladder just up there, oh, there's, there is a zombie up here I think. And there's a file, um, and just the red chemical, and that's it. This did actually cause me a lot of problems yesterday because I was recording this bit yesterday, and I got the blue chemical, and I just couldn't think um, where the red one was. Uh, so I just had to re record the last bit. I just sort of paused it and then uh, recorded it, but I don't believe there's any, like, I think pretty much all the ammo we used was all the same, so I don't think you might notice it. I don't think you will though because I don't think there was much change.
I just thought really it was well, I, could, I should have, probably should have just filmed it all again from scratch but I just I thought oh I'll just do a little bit really I actually wish I would have done it from scratch like recorded this part from scratch but it doesn't really matter I mean if there was a massive ammo difference I probably would have done it again but it just didn't I mean to be honest the fight I did um, like returning with that tyrant was absolutely crap so I, didn't, I thought I'd, it was a good idea in the end I sort of got a little bit carried away and just could, I just could be I thought I'm just going to keep hitting him and hitting him and hitting him with that shotgun and he did some serious I think he hit got me onto danger at one point uh, so that's why I sort of just carried on I didn't realise there was herbs up here too oh and shotgun ammo there we go then uh, the shotgun's not really going to be much useful uh, after this sort of it's funny because you've got so much ammo for it but really and there's only going to be like a couple more things that need it you need it for to deal with it um, and that's it it really doesn't uh, be isn't that much helpful uh, later on Oh, I've gone through. I think I've just realised. Yeah, I've gone through the wrong door, because this was the door. Uh, I think it might have been in the last part actually. So there's no point in us going back through there. We do have to go back that way anyway. Um, so I never thought of that actually. I never thought that because we have to actually go back that way a bit later on because you need to get the card key and um, that's why you need to make the battery up uh, to get the forklift to push the box up because it's stuck in like the wall um, so I never really thought of coming that way a bit later on oh, I never thought I could save myself a bit of time there but never mind the main thing is we've got it um, I think I said in the last part as well that I was going to go back and get the weapons that I left by the cable car um, that'll be a perfect opportunity when we go back that way to go and get it because it didn't take me as long as I thought um, so I've left that in as well and I'm not sure what part that's going to be in though to be honest I think it'll be about part I wouldn't say 20 I'd say about 21 I think it's going to be about 22 parts in total so um, the last bit's obviously going to be the longest because I like to leave the credits in, but to be honest, isn't. Oh, actually, no, I, I'm not going to spoil it. I won't spoil it. I'll tell you more about it when it comes to that part. Yeah, still haven't seen that frog because he, he did jump up. Uh, you do get to see one later on. Uh, they're not like hunters at all, they kind of creep me out a little bit. They're nothing like the frog hunters either that are in Resident Evil 3. They are just like giant frogs, so this might have, they might have been infected in a different way, or you know, because I think a lot of these experiments were done ten years ago. Uh, game time, obviously, this game is probably well, no, it wouldn't be because it'd be so. Oh, I I could I don't I'm, I could work it out, but I think you can pretty much work it out for yourself. Uh, the experiments happened in 1988, so. That's probably, you know, from then. Uh, that's why probably the f hunters are more advanced. Because uh, I think they are sort of frogs, but I I couldn't say for sure. Um, but this is the bit now where Billy and Rebecca have to split up. And they don't split up for long, but... It actually does seem really pointless when they do split up. Pretty sure Billy probably could fit in that, but um, he'd be pushing his luck a little bit. I think it probably wouldn't. The weight of him, I expect, would make the thing snap off. Is 
there's actually quite a lot of uh, grenade launcher rounds in here which is really handy um, but it's annoying because we don't have the grenade launcher around um, but it'll be some beneficial later on when it comes to the very very last boss this will now um, lower a, a drawbridge type thing well, it's a floodgate I think Which means Billy can get across now, because the, uh, this is the door where that tyrant fight was. Is, there's a door that I was talking about going through, and I should have made him wait there. And that's how they reunite with each other in the end. So, so that, oh, that's the acid rounds. Um, I think the blue chemicals in the next room because it's the end of this part and um, now so thank you very much for watching and hopefully you'll join me for part 20